Um, on today's episode of The Therapy Crouch, love is definitely in the air. Yeah, because it's a Valentine's Day special. Yeah. What we've got in store for them. Oh, you've got some cheesy chat-up lines. Mm. I've got a Valentine's special bonk beat playlist. Yeah, and find out uh, if you're going out with someone called Tarquin, what to do about it. Uh, it's like sitting on a sheep, isn't it? <laughs> what would you say? You know, if yeah. you had a big, massive, fat sheep. Yeah. It's like... You could just put like a little prawn there. <laughs> And for the record, it'd be me leaving you, not the other way around. Would it? What, what? Come on, you it, come on, my yeah. are, you, are you just thrusting? <laughs> I'm not thrusting, I'm like being thrusted. She's riding the combine. You're being thrusted. Hey. 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 Why do you have to do it in Like, link, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Hello, welcome to the Therapy Crouch with me. Peter Crouch. And me, Abby Clancy. Oh, that seems weird, doesn't it, that way around? Yeah, we. I don't usually do that, do I? No. Mm-hmm. I've gone rogue. Gone rogue? I like your fringe. Do you? Yeah. To be honest, I can't do it myself. I need my sister to do it. I'm not good at doing my own hair. So I like the fringe. You, you, I remember you had the fringe when I kind of first met you. Mm. So it's... it's just something like special. Early noughties at the back of a vengeance. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. Mm. Everyone keeps going, oh, you look so much younger. I'm like... Because half my face is covered, that's why. <laughs> Just so, yeah. Like, if you, if you, if it was COVID as well now, you'd look really young. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a mask on. You make me feel paranoid. Well, you said I had thin lips before I started this. I can talk about paranoid. Thinning <laughs> lips. Thinning lips. I did not thin lips. <laughs> I've had, I've had an issue with my, um, my jaw. And Ab's just been Googling, like, what the, what the problem was. Mm. And you said it causes thinning lips. It said wrinkling around the mouth, which causes thinning lips, bad breath, tick, <laughs> poor, oral, tick. <laughs> poor oral hygiene, tick. And it also said lack of self-confidence, tick, because of you, it's because you are my wife saying things like that to me. I'm only joking. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a thin lip on a man. A little paper cuts. I, really, I ain't got thin lips, have I? The thinner. The thinner than what? They used to be. They've always been the same. They have always been there. That was one of the things that first attracted to me, to you. What, my juicy lips? Yeah. Thick lips. <laughs> oh, and they're now thinning. You like that now? Thin. Your lips can't thin over time. You sure. do? Don't. And there gets longer. Does it? Yeah, and no, I'm thinking about it. A lot of old women are quite long ones like that, don't they? And the lines on them. Oh, yeah. Cat's ass. Cat's ass. <laughs> oh. It's got a mouth like a cat's ass. Oh, yeah. It's a thing. Is it? Cat's Cor- ass mouth. Can't imagine having one of those. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it again? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Boy, I haven't got one of those, have I? No. God's sake. You've got a lovely smiley mouth. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. It's coming, though. <laughs> Give it a couple of years. Just the signs we're on already. You've got a big mouth. Yeah, big mouth. Well, it was my, you know, obviously we did last week was talk about my birthday and all that. We did go out for my birthday and it was an, it was an aggressive day. Aggressive. Wasn't it? It was a fun-filled day. We mm. went for lunch. No, we did the My thi- new favourite pub at half twelve, which is epic in there, isn't it? Well, we thought we would do like half twelve, we'll be home at six. Oh, yeah. We did half twelve and got home at half twelve. <laughs> Food was phenomenal. So nice. Champagne. One, uh, there was someone obviously got up to do the music as well. And uh, oh yeah, someone, they had a band um, on. They have like an Irish band on, which it's not karaoke. We didn't, we didn't know. We didn't know it was a band. We just thought it was like guys getting up. So our John was up on the guitar singing Coldplay and Oasis. I sang Shallow three times. <laughs> three times. Three times. <laughs> it was a record. Was you getting on chord? Yeah. It's just song. embarrassing. What's just... embarrassing about it? Because you wouldn't, you weren't that embarrassed because you did it again and again. <laughs> well, at the time, I'm not embarrassed. But you're embarrassed. I now. have to stop. It's like it's so cringe it and pathetic. A, no one wants to see like an old bag of a woman on the fucking mic. With the mouth like a cat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not true. No, you look sensational, and you also sang. I think it was your best performance, <laughs> and I've seen a lot of them. <laughs> My friend um, Lib was singing Living on a Prayer and the owner of the pub actually took the mic away from her. No, he did. He, did. he didn't even just give her the, the unplug, yeah, he actually took it off her. He just took it off her, big liberty. At one point I saw the whole, she just fell over a whole table, knocked everyone's drink over on the way to the mic. 
And then the owner just took the mic off her. And she was just standing there like that. <laughs> but we had to laugh. You oh, know, the, was, I, I love them pub day. days. Mm. But, you know, combined with amazing drink and amazing food, good friends. And uh, did you pay the price the next day, though? Did you pay the piper? <sighs> Do you know what? I just can't drink anymore or like have a, a long sesh just a killer so we're gonna mm. we're gonna do dry feb 12 till 12 could go into it yeah but dry feb a short month as well it's not like january there's five mondays i get that dry feb should we give it a go mm. all right mm. although we were filming with MS today yeah for the um the dining for two valentine's edition and drink they had us drinking rose at 10 a.m <laughs> Mm. So you lasted five days in I, I only had one set. <laughs> you had one You had a couple more than one set. I didn't. I watched you. I didn't. You did. I was like that. It was a lovely wine, but not at 10 a.m. Yeah. So I finished the bottle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what else took with me this week? When we uh, were planning Sophia's birthday, she wants a little disco in the, in the garden or whatever, and mm-hmm. she's getting a few friends around. And um, I said to her, uh, what about that... Dad comes in, shows your mates the robot. <laughs> she was like, shut up, Dad, don't. I was like, no, because they all want to they all want to see it. Everyone, they all love it. I said, I'll just I'll just burst in and do the robot. I said, your mum's really good at the worm. <laughs> she was going. I'll come in, worming Dad, to shallow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> worming to shallow. Like obviously winding her up, but ah, oh, the way these kids take No, she's it saying now. we're not she said, Can we go out? She you used to leave your own home. Yeah. Since, yeah. Well, she has a pot, so we're doing like a, a bit of like a teepee tenty thing mm. in the garden with you know my go-to guys slow dough pizza who i love um disco mocktails and she's telling us to all go out we're not allowed there how old are you gonna be so when she 13. said oh, so when she said like um we gotta go out i was like no i was thinking about doing kind of like a performance <laughs> Sort of come in, just show him a quick robot. This is my present to you this year, my baby girl. (laughs) We should like get a big screen in there and put like all embarrassing photographs of her. The thing is, she'll never forgive you. She just wouldn't find it funny. No, no, like she's that's all really. She's quite um, serious, Sophia, isn't she? Yeah, everything has to be perfect, spot on. You know, we can't embarrass her in any way. No. It's gonna have to be, but I'm dying to be married. (laughs) I am. (laughs) I'm gonna wind her up for ages, just saying I'm gonna do this. I think me and you should be the DJs. Yeah. In the party, <laughs> Kevin and Penny go large. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids! Hold him back the year. <laughs> she Something would... got me started. <laughs> she would die. Ah, God, do do do. <laughs> Come on, Ali. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you imagine? Floor fillers. Oh, put all the old, the old, the old school classics on. <laughs> and then the slowy. Slowy at the end. Slowy at the end. Do you remember going to school discos when you were young? And like the slow dance. Did you ever dance with like a girl? Yeah. Did you? Sometimes. (laughs) My mum used to bring me to every disco. (laughs) 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 Little slowy at the end. Not a problem, babe. Year six days disco, no danger. They just slowy Pete. I don't think that's the reason they're calling you slow Pete. I know, yeah. <laughs> Throughout my entire football career, they called me slow Pete. <laughs> oh, anyway. How was the rest of your birthday? Obviously, last time we spoke, it was your birthday. Mm. How was the rest of your week? You were lined up at a lot of work. Uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I was quite busy. You know, we had, lo- had loads of football. It was brilliant, though. The football so many good games on. <laughs> Are you going to do a look like that? <laughs> the football was good, though. Yeah. You know, I know that's for a different podcast, but I enjoyed it. A lot of good, good goals. And then I did uh, I did some other filming as well. So I've been busy. No golf? Um, golf this week. Golf tomorrow. I don't actually complain about I'm going to golf. Mm. Like I genuinely don't do I really. I know we joke. But I, I do feel bad if you don't get a game in. Yeah, you do. And I appreciate that. Because you, obviously, I didn't play. I, like, once a week's... Are you down to one a week now, yeah? Yeah, it should be one a week. <laughs> I mean, but like, I missed one last week and I was picked up. You need to get your bloody money's worth. Yeah, exactly. Do you have to pay every time you play golf? No. A oh, member. So, what have you been up to this week, Ab? So, apart from nursing my hangover, <laughs> 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 no, I um, I've just been doing housey stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm um, planning. I had Martin from Andrew Martin round, and I got some incredible <laughs> chairs. Incredible. <laughs> How good are the chairs? No, I, I actually, this is the first item that we've purchased for this house that I actually went. Pfft. Like, I'm into these. Yeah. 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 They're amazing. They're like, uh, it's like sitting on a sheep, isn't it? <laughs> what would you say? 
You know, if yeah. you had a big, massive, fat sheep, yeah, it's like that. It's a huge, big armchair. Big, wiry, long sheepskin. It's like a doctor's chair, but like sheepskin, isn't oh, it? It's, oh. it's, and, the, and, the and the comfy, the oh comfy. God, the this, yeah. But they're like the most expensive dog bed on <laughs> earth. It's like the two dogs just sit on one each and it obviously gives me anxiety. I'm like, they get off the chairs. <laughs> but yeah, just doing house stuff. You know, I'm obsessed with my new floor. I had so many messages. And guys, I am going to do a detailed video with the colours, etc. because I know everyone's been asking me, but I haven't been around to doing it. So, Loads yeah. of boring bastards out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just me a lot of measuring for chairs, fabrics. I had Martin round and, you know, doing Liberty's room, my curtains and, you know, yeah, dull stuff that I enjoy. It's not well, dull, you know what I mean? I'll be honest with you, I think you've, as much as I was against the floor being done because of the dis disruption it was actually not as much disruption as I thought it was going to be. And also, the floor looks incredible. So, well I, done. I just don't mm. want to get my furniture back. I'm just delaying it. <laughs> it's all the story. I want yeah. it back. I've only got one sheep to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's so, like, like the office and all that. Like, I, want, I want stuff. I want it back. <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah, it's What do you like about it? Just the, the freedom. I feel like I'm in, like, the John Lennon video, you know, when they're just walking through, like, the White House and it's just mm. empty. It's calming. And it's also, I want new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you said? I wrote, I actually wrote this down Go on. Um, about the blue pots. <laughs> you remember? No. Um, she called me, right? This is a call and said, uh, Pete, uh, I've got these new blue, blue pots. So, oh, yeah, she had, they're going to blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I went, are they? Really? You reckon? <laughs> but she what went, did they do? Like, you said, uh, you just, you, I wrote it down here, you keep walking in to see them for no reason. So you don't need to go in that room, you just keep walking in looking at your pots. Are these the Le Creuset stuff you were after? No, no, no. It's just, it's like a Chinese painted pot, which, I, no, the blue ones that I have. Oh, yeah, in the kitchen at the moment. But the, the super sat, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, literally yeah. that big, the antique. Did they, did they blow your mind did, by did, the did want to try to friggin' pick them up to move them. Oh, really? <laughs> they <laughs> just, I walked into Andrew Martin and he just has the best stuff. And I was like, oh my God. And Because he groups things, like a top, anything grouped mm. looks fantastic. Yeah, it's so important to group. It is. <laughs> I agree. Great grouping. Great, Great grouping. grouping. Because I've, I've struggled for a long time to get something from my dining table because it's so big. Mm. Everything looks tiny. So these pots are just perfect, but I've got no table. It's still in storage, so when it comes back. But I, I, they did blow your mind. Or do you just humour me and just make it up? Well, I, did, I said they were nice pots, yeah, yeah. You were like, oh my God, my mum couldn't believe them. Oh, really? Or Heidi. She was like, I can't, can't believe them pots. They're one off. So we're not going to do any um, weekly wines. Well, no, because it's a day for love. Yeah. Well, it's the day before love. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> We're not doing any wines, all right? I, I love you this week anyway because it's in between my birthday and and Valentine's, and you've been you've been lovely. That's my shine for you. Thanks. Ah, oh. coming back now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in the audience ones then. Hey, Abby and Pete, loving the podcast. I was listening to last week's episode and the listeners' message about their wedding clashing with the football reminded me of something I had to write in and tell you. My family are massive Bristol City fans, including my uncle, who booked his wedding on the same day as the last game of the 06-07 season when we could get promoted with a win. His wife amazingly allowed all of us football fans to leave the wedding after the ceremony and get a minibus to the game. Can you imagine everyone's faces when we turn up all dressed in suits and dresses, etc.? Bristol City won 3-1, got promoted to the championship for the first time in eight years. We celebrated on the pitch, then returned to the wedding venue just in time for dinner and to celebrate some more. My uncle still says it's the best day of his life. Oh. Isn't that amazing, though? It like, is amazing, but I've got mixed feelings on it. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture Don't you allowing you that, that minibus to turn up the wedding. <laughs> because it's nice that it's genuinely the best day of his life. You know, great memory. I got married and my team got, got promoted. promoted. But the frigging reality and the logistics of that, like... What she like? Because it's a long, t how long's a football match? Uh, what ninety minutes? Yeah. Plus half an hour half time. Half an hour half time. <laughs> yeah. They had a long half time in those days. Yeah. And then they talking for another fucking hour about it once it's <laughs> finished. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, so it's like six hours. <laughs> no, yeah, it takes a long time. So but how, realistically, how long would they be gone for? Like four hours, say? I'd say at least three to four, yeah. And that's during the, the day. God, she'd be the bride would be blood about it. <laughs> There'll be moments where it'd be quite quite sad. Well, you, that's how, a good what wife. What would you do for like four <laughs> hours in the middle of the day? What would you do, genuinely? Well, you'd have to just get you'd have to get on the beers, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you'd be Because I always think that bit in, in a wedding where after the ceremony you've got to do your photographs. I hated doing that, did you? Mm -hmm. On our wedding, because you you would have it with the photographer doing all photos, which I've never seen. My wedding photos, which is mad. Mm. Yeah, what is the problem with our wedding photos? Why, I, I don't know where they are, and I've got you... no idea who took them. Because we we just we just haven't seen them ever. No, they? they should be like up. What we haven't got them. Even that, like half an hour of doing your photos, seems like a long time. Especially when you're locking the roll, you made to the bar. Exactly. I'm having a laugh, and you're like so that. four hours. <laughs> But the thing is, is like it could have gone the other way. They could have lost, and then they come back <gasps> and gutted. And that would like, have ruined the wedding. Would have ruined it. But like the fact that they got promoted mate, has made it like the party of a lifetime. Well, great. Wife. She's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Hey guys, I'm I'm a new listener, and I've started right from the first episode, so this might. Seem Do you know what? Outdated. I've got so many people messaging me going, "I've just discovered the therapy crouch." Mm -hmm. Really? So many. Where have they been? Under a rock. <laughs> I don't know, but loads of new listeners, so, hey. <laughs> wow. What? Was that a private hello to all new listeners? Yeah. Hey. 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 Why did you have to do it Like, link, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. <laughs> hey, and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, well, if you haven't got kids, then you might not even know what that is, but with our kids, it's just all they say. They're also watching YouTube, and it's like, hey. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shut up. In the American accent as well. Oh, it goes God. Through, it's all I hear. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. And I bet you still haven't subscribed them yet. <laughs> no. But you should subscribe to this. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. Just listen to the episode where the lady compared her shagging technique with her perfect man using Su Susan Boyle and Swedish House Mafia as a reference. Obviously, one of our... That was one of our favourite bits in this. I especially cracked up when you called them bonk beats. Uh, now, I used to host a quiz night each week in a pub I used to run. Every week I had a music, music round, guessing the title and song artist shit. <laughs> I always uh, went with the same each week, and one week my theme was songs you wouldn't want on your sex playlist. Um, Do people have a sex playlist? God, funny enough, we were no. We were talking about this the other. You we were. Do. Oh my god! I've just, say. I've just had a, a, a flashback. Mm. We were talking about this at the meal on Sunday, and I was telling Lib that yours is Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. Yes. That is just the and other, weird. And other Marvin Gaye songs are available as well. It's not just let's get it on. But mm, are you a Marvin Gaye fan? Yeah, Bonker. big time. Yeah. <laughs> do you put music on? like? Have you done? I would, no, but sometimes I'll set, put music on sometimes before to create a little bit of ambiance. Do you know what I mean? Ambiance. A couple of candles, a bit of ambiance, a little love of music. Just a couple of cans. <laughs> yeah. A couple of cans, a bit of ambiance. <laughs> bit of fosters there for you, girl. Do you put candles on? Yeah, too right. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> In the record player. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh my God. Bit of Barry White. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I like to create an experience. <laughs> if I if you came up the stairs and I had music on right, with some candles, would you would you, would you do that? Would you, would you laugh? I'd laugh. There's nothing worse than a um, premeditated yeah sesh, session. <laughs> nothing worse is there. There's nothing worse. Is there a happy medium? Like, is there like um, oh, I love this tune. Like, a bit of, like... Down, down, down. Oh, I love this tune. It makes me want to take my clothes off and have sex. What about you? <laughs> no. Imagine. I'd, I, there's not more off-putting than, like, a planned... Yeah. Bonk. Okay. All right, well, listen, these, these are the ones you don't want on your playlist, okay. right? These are the ones you said. Black Lace, Agadoo. You're just singing that? I was just singing that. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the Firm, Star Trekking. <laughs> What's that? Star Trek in across the universe. That one. Yeah, that it's it? that one. Uh, fast food rockers, fast food song, uh, and the Wurzels, Combine Harvester. They're just stupid songs, aren't they, to be honest? Apologies to the people that made them. They're so. not very sexy and they're, all, they're not very good. 
Combine harvesters is tuned. I reckon you could get a good rhythm going. Yeah, combine harvester. Oh, you've got a brand new combine harvester. A brand new know, combine you harvester. Yeah. Are, you, are you just thrusting? <laughs> I'm not thrusting. I'm like being thrusted. She's riding a combine. You're being thrusted. <laughs> I'm riding a combine harvester. Are you? I'm riding. <laughs> Might put that one on there, yeah. It's all right. For all our lovers out there, what would be your on your bonk beat Valentine's playlist? I feel like Swedish House Mafia's been added to No, so you can't traction. even use that again. You can. You can have that. You could have Susan Boyle because that's there. Our two staples, right? No, this is a Valentine's edition. You yeah. can't be regurgitating normal bonk beats. Yeah, but like, they're good ones, aren't they? No, it's got to be want, brand like, spankers. Like, like love ones. Yeah. Love's in the air Every time I look around That's a good one Is that sexual though? It's just love, isn't it? Okay What do you want it like? Don't want to back that bit up, bitch up that one. <laughs> <laughs> I do you think want to um, 50 Cent Candy Bernard? Shop Candy Shop? Yeah, that's got to be on there We were hearing that today, weren't dun, we? Dun, 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 dun. I bet dun, you looked a little yeah. pop. <laughs> It's got to be on, isn't it? Pony, genuine? Yeah? No. Why not? <laughs> Why you look so shocked? Why not? I, I am not a bunk beater. No, no, but you, you just asked. It's got to be like a love song. By the way, it's got to make a feature, surely. I think points. like something off, you know, the Top Gun song or something like that. Something oh, yeah. where you can well, visualise. Highway to the Danger Zone. Highway to that one. the Danger Zone. Come on. No, no, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Take my breath away. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun. That's dun, a nice dun. slowy one. That's that's good, surely. It's somewhere where you can visualise Tom Cruise when he was young. <laughs> <laughs> Lie back and think of Tom Cruise on a motorbike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me some inspo for this evening. <laughs> What's the one off Officer and Gentleman? Is there a song off that? I feel like there is. Uh, anything off Dirty Dancing. Oh, dun, yeah. Because it's got a good... Um, Beat as well. Be my, be my, be my little baby. You need a few mixed tempos in there, I mixed think, tempo. as well, don't you? Be my little baby is great. And, yeah. Um, what's the main bloody dirty dancing I've song? I've had the time of my, my life. life. That one. Yeah. In no? Hungry Eyes. Sexy. Hungry Eyes. That one. That's not the main song of dirty dancing. It is. It's the, when, he, when he lifts it up at the ends, because... Oh, that one. That's a bit happy. Yeah. That's a bit celebratory. <laughs> bit fast for me, that, that one. At the end. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like. Dun, 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 dun. Doja Cat's got a few, hasn't she? Giant tonight. <laughs> now I've got you in, in my, my life. mind. You know, that's. Like the biggest selling album of all, like all time. What is Dirty Dancing? Movie soundtrack. Is it? Mm. Dirty Dancing soundtrack. That's just not better though. My God. Every song. What about Whitney Houston? She's got a couple of ones, hasn't she? I have nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> and I... <laughs> that was a big finish, love. <laughs> yeah, that'd be What about um, Mariah Carey, honey? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like honey. not really bonk beats I don't think these are more like getting ready grooves yeah like you need I love I, a getting I, ready groove I think mm. you need to be groove. I always like, put Tyler Water on now on repeat full blast dancing yeah, the mirror tune. to that's myself that's a good song isn't it what about Luther Van Dross never too much that could be a good never too much too... it's not very sexual though is it so you want something like... Dun, 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 oh. dun, dun, what about Meatloaf? What, Battles of Hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, what about I can't live... live That's a bit sad though, isn't it? Mm. These, are, they, are you saying these are Valentine's songs? They're not bonk beats, are they? Valentine's what? edition bonk beat playlist. What about Reverend Al Green? You know, um, oh, what's that song? Let's stay together, loving you where the times are good. That one, that's a good one. Yeah, but it's celebratory. It's like there's a lot of camaraderie in those songs. It's not like get your kit off now. What about get your kit off now? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. What about uh, it's too like, like you'd sing that with your mum or like uh, Sinead O'Connor? 
Nothing compares to that you. That could be sensual and deep. Or you could have a bit of Prince. He's good. Kiss. Kiss. Yeah. Let's move on. Weekly Shine aimed squarely at my gorgeous hubby, Chris. Oh. Uh, after a month of us both listening to you guys read out and give advice on people's problems, I think something has finally sunk in. Uh, he's playing less video games, thank God. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, he's become a bit of a domestic goddess around the house and he's genuinely um, just a lot more present in our relationship. I don't know how much of this is down to you guys or he's just taking his New Year, New Me project seriously this time. Oh, I think it's all down to but us. But it's safe to say you pair have definitely helped. She says, Chris, I love you and thanks for making an effort. Keep this up and I'll be wearing that fleece dressing gown a lot less. Um, hashtag the boy did good, Jane from Plymouth. That's nice. Is that Jane who wrote in last time? <laughs> About no. her fella. No, this is no. a different one. That's so obviously we, we were helping that, that girl with her husband who was playing too many video games. I think if men want to play video games, you should treat them like a child and just take it off them. If they want to act like a child, take it off them. Mm. Punish them. Okay. But what if they turn around and say, you're not, you're not my mum, you, you can't punish me? Well, we'll just say, well, if you're going to act like a child, I will treat you like one. Mm. And if, you, if you're if you not my son, but stop behaving like one. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Tell him straight. Yeah. Well, clearly he's listened to that, to that advice. Well, that, and he's is, turned his life around. The advice we've gave them has seemed to have really, really helped. Effort is a good thing in a relationship. It's important. Because that, that's one of the first things to go. <laughs> Effort. What? <laughs> Nothing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Exhibit A, yeah. <laughs> That's, um, yeah, that's true. But, you know, it is one of the first, you, you know, when you first meet, you're always, like, making effort with how you look, you're making an effort with how you yeah, speak you to each you, other. you give up your appearance, you give up, you know, trying to care. Um, you less effort with meal times, less effort mm. in all areas, mm. I say. Yeah. Well, thank God that hasn't happened to us. Pete's been wearing the fleece dressing gown so much more. <laughs> but the uh, Rosie Huntington Wiley one. <laughs> but when he walks past me, I'm like, oh, he looks so cosy. <laughs> you kind of like me in it, don't you? I do. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm... like she's It's quite like, like a baby in a baby grow. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Because there's nothing better than nothing better than comfort. It's not, you know, oh. and it's a lovely dressing gown. I would love to see you in that mood. Did you? <laughs> I might wear it for one of the records. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't crush Pete, don't crush your legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sharon Stone over there. <laughs> Sharon Stone. Oh, More like God, Steve baby. Stone. Have they inspired you for your own weekly shines after listening to them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I gave you a tiny little shine. Is there anything that I've I've done that you've absolutely loved? A tiny little shine. <laughs> I did, yeah. Little shiner. Well, I'm always I'm always grateful. I'm praising you. Mm-hmm. Aren't I? Yep. So, so that, is that a no then? You haven't got one? <laughs> <laughs> is that a no you haven't got one? Is it? Yeah. Take it from one of them. <laughs> Next time no. I'll preach. Yeah. I put maximum maximum effort into making you feel loved, I think. I do feel loved. All... So you said that... that to me this morning, actually. I said it to you yesterday, wasn't it? You yeah. Came, you came with me to something and you didn't have to. That was making an effort, wasn't it? You mm. came all the way into London to make sure for, I was all right. absolutely fuck off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It, it was fuck all in the end. But you were there for me, and that's that's what you are. You're good at. Good. So well done. That is love. Um, and that's why Valentine's. I'm going to uh, spoil you this year. Let's get into Valentine's Day then. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Valentine's? Um, I, I, I do think it's another day that is a lot of pressure for the men. Is that mm. okay to say? I think that's fair enough to say. I, I think it's. Again, it's like bang on us again, isn't it? It's like you've got to make the, the lady happy again. <clears throat> it's obviously it's a nice thing, and I think we you know we should we should all make an effort definitely, but it's it's just always like it's always kind of on the man, isn't it? To to provide like a, a really amazing romantic gesture. And like you you lot can just kind of sit back and go, spoil me. Yeah. And okay. But you should want to spoil us if you I, love I do, I do, yeah, I do. Listen, we do... It's not about uh, an expensive gift, gift or anything materialistic. It's just nice to, you know, say, 
I actually do love you and want to make you feel special for the day. The other three hundred four weeks after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, and a month before Mother's Day. <laughs> oh God, when's Mother's Day? You had you had Christmas birthday recently. You know, like you say, Mother's Day. Father's Day gets it kind of gets brushed yeah, on yeah. the top. You know he I mean? wants it's to play like... golf on Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm like, it's no, my you've, day. Got to, you've got to be a dad. You're only a, a dad because of me. So surely I should be getting the presents. Is that another you want Father's Day as well? <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you can't not spend Father's Day without your children because that's what it's about. Oh, I think what you should do is wake up, you know, the kids can spoil me and I go, oh, I love you so much and I'm fucking off to golf. <laughs> Yeah, I actually don't mind that, but I don't. I don't think there'll be any other men in the golf course on Father's Day. Of course there will. Any be. decent men? <laughs> oh, no, there'll be loads of them there. But what I'm saying is, listen, you know, Valentine's Day. I think you know you should show affection every day of the year if you can, and you should make effort on a whim. Yeah, you know, without spontaneity is great, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. On just you know, let's it's Friday. Let's go out. Let's do something nice, and we'll spoil each other. It's a Tuesday. It's a ten carat diamond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Valentine's is just a bit of another that. excuse to sell cards and meals yeah, and stuff so, like that. Yeah, I think so. But you know it? what? It's mm. a nice day. It's still a nice day. It still, it still is an excuse for us to go, we're a couple, we love each other. But I do I like it. the old-fashioned romantic stuff. I do you like, like to that. Be wooed on Valentine's Day. I'd like to be wooed every day, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm not high maintenance, however. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to be rude. I want to be wooed every day. <laughs> Can we do... Um, we're quite busy on Valentine's Day this year. Mm. Can we do like the day before, or is that does that not resonate at all? Yeah. At least we'll have the restaurant to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do it the day after and then get the roses half price? Uh, that's good that's, that's black box thinking that way. Wow. Mm. Roses half price. <laughs> that's what I'll be suggesting. <laughs> well, I think a night in. We've done it over the years. I love going out on Valentine's Day though, and watching. Other people on their dates. Yeah, first dates on Valentine's as well as even better. My brother had a first date on Valentine's Day. Mm, I know. I'm Harry right. said she was turning up with all her friends and didn't <laughs> turn up on her own. And uh, four years later... Still going strong. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a bit of a cop-out for them to have their anniversary on Valentine's Day, though? Do you know what I mean? You, only, you kind of get a two-for-one there, a bog-off. It, it's like... Um, it's a bog-off. <laughs> a bog-off. It's like... Oh, bog -off. It's like having your birthday on Christmas Day, isn't mm, it? It is. I would mm. be impressed. Yeah. I mean, that's a dream scenario, I think, for a man. I think it's nice to like have an anniversary on Valentine's. You're never going to forget your anniversary. Yeah. You know, you, you, you're killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. And don't say it's hard to book a restaurant because you, you know, you've had a year to... You could book it for the next 10 years because you know the date. Mm. So could you, actually. <laughs> to be fair. Even right. for our Felt that one coming, Shane. Okay, no, well, do you want to book in Christmas dinner as well while we're there? <laughs> I've, I've already booked our Christmas dinner for next year. All right, what have you done for my birthday in uh, 2032? Exactly. You'll you be can't. 50 then? We might not even be together. Is that your 50th? What? We, might not even, we could potentially not even be together then. <laughs> you could have cocked it. That's not, the, that's not the first thing that would spring to my <laughs> mind. <laughs> It's more like you might be working that day. Okay, I could be working that day then. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. He's thinking about leaving, yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, sorry, I might be working. And for the record, it'd be me leaving you, not the other way around. <laughs> Would it? Why? She's thought about that. What have I done? <laughs> Thin lips. <laughs> <laughs> On, in your historical Valentine's days, maybe before you had the kids, can you think of any big things, gestures that Pete might have done for you in the past? I think one of the nicest Valentine's was where we went out and you know I I put like an outfit in the in the cupboard for you and stuff like that, and uh, in the cupboard and we went to a hotel yeah. and then I I put the, I picked an outfit out for you which wasn't shit I thought it was an Elia dress yeah like nice right yeah and some shoes and some socks <laughs> socks. <laughs> Brushless <laughs> knickers yeah, yeah. no knickers at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a not like I thought that was a nice one. Then you, you had no idea. Then we went to um, for a lovely meal, booked the hotel room. I think that was one of the nicest ones. No, I was pregnant, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. You you missed up it out. You can't remember me being pregnant. Yeah, I do. I remember me moaning all night about something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Banging on about something. I love a surprise and. That mm -hmm. it's nice. We've we've had some. We, to be honest, as much as we say, oh, you know, we don't. Maybe 
you know, Valentine's, whatever. Mm. I, I, it is a night. We've always had nice ones. We've done, we've done some great things, haven't we? I think the chef was nice, apart from the fact he sat with us for um, for the meal. <laughs> what? What? What was this? <laughs> He got a chef round to the house to cook us a romantic. It would be lovely because it's in our house, you know. Yeah. And then he was just like, so how was that? And then just sat down. Was having to like... Sat down. And discussing like where he got the food from. And that. Guys, like, never in a million years would I imagine put... I'd be sat down with a supermodel on Valentine's yeah. Day. <laughs> like, oh, my oh. <laughs> oh, real, wasn't it? Mm. It was bad, that. Do you remember this one when we went to the, we went to the Corinthia and I booked a really lovely room where we got a roof terrace. I think it was anniversary though, not Valentine's. But we'll tell the story. And we, anyway. we had a chef coming to cook us our dinner. Yeah. And we'd been out kind of like sightseeing around London all day. And then we were just knackered. Got a lovely bath, just had the big fluffy robes on, got in bed and the tennis is on. So we just good. stayed in bed and um, <laughs> got KFC. That but is... Pete forgot the beans, ruined the whole trip. Who gets beans from KFC, by the way? Me? No, it's gravy. Beans and gravy? Oh, no, it was the chips you forgot, actually. <laughs> oh, that's unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I booked this chef, and obviously they, they, it had a little roof terrace. Yeah. And the roof, it had an amazing view of London. And I thought, this would be so romantic. And then we just didn't fancy it. I was like, oh, let's just get a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We ate it in, in bed. In bed. Oh. <laughs> Watching the tennis. We, we actually didn't eat it in the actual bed. Not in the actual bed, but in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. The boudoir. Mm -hmm. Boudoir. That's terrible, that, isn't it? Mm, really? Terrible. That sounds amazing. It felt so right, though. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. And it was, do you know what? It was what it just does. Was I pregnant Part then as well? I'm telling everyone now. I don't know. Was, you were pregnant. You've been pregnant a lot. <clears throat> I know. I like doing Valentine's for the kids. Yeah. I write them all cards. Do you? Yeah. Change my handwriting. <laughs> they still don't really know, you know. No, I know. Sophia, Paul, on the way to school the other day, said to me, um, I know mum writes my cards. Uh -huh. And I said, I don't think she does. <laughs> and like, you know, she was mm. like, and I, and I, and I said, uh, I don't, no, I don't think so. She said, she just uses her left hand. And I said, no, honestly, she still, she On knows. The, she's but a boy, yeah, she, she does got the hard confirmation. Quite, no, yeah. Mm. She wants so to keep, just keep up it going. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's all these kind of things like East. Like I went to, the shop the other day and it brought like so much Easter memorabilia. Yeah, I saw that in your kitchen like, to be fair. grass bunnies and these beautiful painted plates with all little bunny rabbits on and leaves and eggs. I I, I do like a the theme and a lot. You are good at creating a, a Doing a, a part. Home. Well, I thought I was good until I saw my friend Elle's bloody Halloween table. <laughs> <laughs> she had like a dead body on the frigging <laughs> dining table with like the jeans ripped and like an edible bone with like worms coming out oh my god and you know it was like spaghetti bolognese and like the meat was blood and the spaghetti was like veins <laughs> you turned up with a pumpkin <laughs> yeah I was like yeah Elle's unreal I was just thinking then do you remember it's in Sex in the City when Samantha's got um, <laughs> the sushi got the sushi all over her <laughs> and you could do that for me one day yeah I'd have Jeffrey and Ralph literally <laughs> on top of me I don't want to see that at all just say to bear in mind, if you're yeah, looking for inspiration. We <laughs> can't do anything like that in our house because we've got four kids. Can you imagine? One of the builders would walk in. Do you know how much sushi you need for him as well? <laughs> I know, yeah. I wouldn't be covered in I was thinking of Ab, not me. <laughs> you could just put like a little prawn there. <laughs> <laughs> just one prawn. It's a piece of lettuce. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever tried to woo Pete on Valentine's Day? Obviously, you're saying it's got more of them on a man to do for a woman. Yeah, I've booked a hotel and stuff before. Yeah, you have done. She's done the odd surprise. Yeah, we do like a celebration and we like celebrating our love. Okay. I'd say. But it shouldn't be safe for, for one day, yeah. No. no. I, I think, you know, it's easy to give advice to people who are in couple what, like, the ideal, you know, Valentine's Day date is. But what, what about for all the singletons out there? Who need our help. Yeah, well, they go out, don't they? And I think the thing is, is a lot of they. people... No, a lot of, uh, you know, girls go out and they, they want to meet someone on Valentine's Day. So as, Girls and boys, you mean? Yeah, so as a man, you know, there will be lots of girls maybe. And if they're out and about, it's a, probably a good time to, to meet one. Yeah. You know, and if they are, I've actually, I've actually researched quite a few um, chat-up lines that they could use. Have you now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, they might work, they might not, but give them a try. <laughs> You're like a Cadbury's bar for Valentine's. Half sweet, half nuts. <laughs> Your hand looks heavy. Can I hold it for you? 
I'm sorry I didn't get you a box of chocolates for Valentine's, but if you want something sweet and smooth, I'm right here. <laughs> Do you know what's on the Valentine's Day menu? Me and you. That's a good one. Is your name Wi-Fi? Because I'm feeling a connection. <laughs> <laughs> These just aren't going to work. If you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. <laughs> fine apple? Like a, fi like a pineapple. Oh, yeah. I'm a bird watcher and I'm looking for a big breasted bed thrasher. Have you seen one? <laughs> Awful. Big bed. Wow. Is that an actual bed? Yeah. I was expecting this to be like a couple, bed thrasher. Of, couple of tits. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Put a bluey on and a couple of tits. <laughs> If you were planning your perfect Valentine's Day, what would you plan? Well, I'd need a nice fit boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I just you got a problem. If you've got a problem with me, no. we, can, we, can, we can end things, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> it's getting if jealous you, in his old age. <laughs> quite like it. If you've got a problem, you know what I mean? I think just quality time and doing something nice. Something that you've you both enjoy, something that you've got in common. So for you, pair specifically, Ooh, for you what would you nice What would you like to do? Well, get a babysitter. Me and you go for some amazing food, maybe a movie, a couple of drinks, night on our own. See that that would be my perfect Valentine's Day. Like I'd like to go to the cinema and just or yeah. go for a, a nice, even a lunch. Yeah. I would, love a lunch. It, it, it's nice staying I over. I love a lunch. Else. I prefer lunch to dinner. Does that like being in bed? If we went for a nice lunch and then we kind of, we could even get a couple of massages in the, in the evening. I would, like, like I did recently for you. Yeah. That wasn't Valentine's, that was just Thursday. <laughs> that was just Thursday. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> that was my birthday. Oh, sorry, your birthday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a lovely day, did you? Yeah. Something along those lines and just a, you know, just a night away from the children mm. and the... And the People kind of just no, just your everyday life. Just, yeah, just take you got to get yourself out of everyday life. That's all it is. Mm. I think. What are you doing for Valentine's Day, Russ? No plans as of yet. What are you thinking? There's a nice Italian round by ours for Rendy and Chatsworth Road. I might go and give that a go. We there last year. It was fucking banging. Nice is that really. a chain? No. Rendy is. Is it? No, I don't think so. I'm seeing any of the ones of them. Italians always go for Valentine's Day thing, isn't it? Mm. You just get to vibrate, candle yeah. it, wine bottles and all French is good for... Mm. Le Francais. <laughs> Le French Franglais. onion soup. French onion soup and some garlic snails. You know, I, I, I don't want to snog me. Five, well, I love snails, so I would. Food is a major part of having a nice time, isn't it? Whoa. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it I mean, is, if, isn't it? If you go out for a meal, it's a nice meal, doesn't it? Everything revolves around food, doesn't it? A lot of it does, yeah. And drink. Mm. It's it's the, it's not even the food, is it? It's the it's the ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the experience. Well, it's the whole experience. If you go somewhere nice that feels romantic. You know, if all else fails and you can't get a babysitter, because that's the thing, my mum will be wanting to go out on Valentine's Day. What's so we were, were you telling me we wouldn't be able to get a babysitter? So we're going to have to do the M&S dining, hon? Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Agreed. All right, then. Should we move into the agony abs? Yeah. Hey, Abby and Pete. Uh, I had to share that I'm concerned my boyfriend literally can't tell the difference between a photograph of Peter Grouch and Ryan Gosling. It happens all the time. I have, this, <laughs> I, I, I have this all the time. We walked past an advert for watches in the jeweller's window and he said I like those crouchy watches Ryan Gosling yeah. is that but Ken yeah nonetheless yeah. he was pointing at a smouldering picture of Pete but Ryan Gosling two days later I caught him trying to compare the two men side by side to himself he's <laughs> he's baffled please see the attached image okay. thanks for endless laughs Sophie yeah so I'll take Ryan Gosling thoughts see I've never been I've never had a crush on Ryan Gosling but I think he seems like a lovely person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He'd, you know, when you see him interviewed and stuff, he always seems lovely. And I think that's more attractive than actually being hot. So, do I look like Ryan Gosling? <laughs> this is what Pete wants. He's not bothered about if you like him or not. Does he look like Ryan Gosling? Mm, not really. No. 
I think um, Ryan Gosling's a bit Woody off Toy Story looking. He's a bit nice. There's not on, no such thing as too nice. Listen, as, thanks so much for uh, your email because I'll, I'll take that. But uh, that's, uh, cash, bit, that's cash in the bank. That's, you're that's, a bit that's... Kenny though. Yeah, like Ken. Yeah, blonde Bar and, and blue Ken. eyed and golden hair. She expected the Margot Robbie show back there, Peter. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're better oh, than her, babe. I wish I had 1% of Margot Robbie. Hi, both. I have a Valentine's Day agony app that I'm hoping you can help with. As a bit of background, we've been together for three going on four years now, and not once has he ever surprised me or even attempted to woo me on Valentine's Day. I will admit that we met in the December, so for the first time round, I wasn't expecting that much. First Valentine's. I know, yeah. Start as you mean to go on. It's only like a couple of months, though. Or keep your expectations low, and then for the following years, you up it every year. No. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Start low. No. On the promise, over the liver. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> it's like, this is the problem with Race Day Jack. You know what I mean, he went straight in, yeah. Charlie Bananas gave her the world, and then he can't, he can't rein it back. Oh, he's no, looking at houseboats can... on Regent's Canal. <laughs> no, but you can go to bloody... It's not average. You can take someone for... You know, all these, like, things to do, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It does, though, because everything costs a lot of money. And also, like, she's going to be comparing it to what a mate's got and all that, do you know what I mean? If she he gets a homemade card... There's so well, and then a mate gets... on men. Well, me and the whole Instagram Portsmouth world. team used to get the same bunch of flowers every year Say for that Valentine's that Day. Say that again. Me and the whole wives and girlfriends for the... Me and all the wags from Portsmouth used to get the same bunch of roses every year that Claire used to arrange. <laughs> For all the lads, we'd all get... I'd see it on everyone's Instagram, and I'm like, Pete, thanks for the flowers that Claire got me. See, I'd rather have nothing than that. Yeah. That's terrible, that All right, we'll go with the nothing option next time. <laughs> yeah. I will admit that we met in the December, so the first time around, I wasn't expecting much as we went in a proper relationship, but the two, but it's been two years since then, and absolutely nada. Nada. So what does he do? Just ignore the fact that it's Valentine's? Neither of us are super materialistic. I'm 100% not expecting anything over the top, like an orange Chanel bag or a custom-built garden donkey sanctuary. <laughs> Sorry, Abby, but I couldn't resist. God, I do sound like a bitch, doesn't it? <laughs> In black and white. <laughs> but at this rate, I'd love to be, I'd be over the moon with a card and a bunch of flowers from our local petrol station. I have subtly suggested that we do something fun or romantic Valentine's Day in the past, but he's convinced the whole thing is just a big money-making con for Clinton's cards and Thornton's chocolates. He's northern, if you haven't guessed already. <laughs> How can I light a fire under his arse so he realises I am the best thing that's ever happened to him and I deserve to be treated like a queen on this Valentine's Day? Rachel London. Was he just, like, ignoring the fact that Valentine's Day is happening? I think he's quite anti Valentine's Day, I understand right, things. Okay, because some people are, but I just think, you know, a card, even if you don't like Valentine's Day, a card and some flowers to show that you love her is the way to go, right? You don't yeah. have to do a big, you know, take you out, but you can't just ignore it's happening because I think, especially with Instagram now, like girls are always scrolling through because you do it and you're always like, oh God, he's so lovely to her. But he's not posting. <laughs> <laughs> he's not posting on the they're not posting on the days where he's not nice to her mm. so you just on your feed it's all positive mm -hmm. positive holidays positive you know what I mean it's like everyone's outwardly showing their relationship's the best there's a lot of pressure then for you know if your if your mates down the road have got something amazing yeah and and, and you haven't it's like well but everyone can show their own appreciation and love towards the, their partner in their own way, just a li little something doesn't have to be that big. Mm, no, that's what I'm saying. It, like, just at least, just a little gesture. At least I mean? acknowledge it. But how can she light the fire under his ass? Is the question. What yeah, she with do? him, I think she uh, maybe just to speak to him about that. I say, like, come on, I think we should, you should, you should do something. I mean, if I don't get anything this year, I'm leaving you. Mm. Or oh, what you could do actually now, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, <I'm> <laughs> not messing about, is he? <sighs> what she could do, play her this email. Yeah. Play out this email and just say, this is what Peter and Abby think of your lack of activity on Valentine's Day. He should stop being a tight ass and just make his girlfriend feel special for one day. Mm. Right, boys, if you're wondering what to do on Valentine's Day, Abby has the answer. Go. 
You need to shower the one you love with love, affection, kisses, surprise her, take her out and yeah, just make her feel loved. Okay, uh, let's move on. Hey guys, loving the podcast. Thanks for the lols. Uh, I'm saying things that I never say in real life when I read these things out. Lols. This past 12 months and happy birthday to Ab, Pete Whoop. and the pod. This agony Ab isn't too serious, so feel free to have a bit of fun, but it will also help. I recently met this boy off Hinge and he ticks all the boxes. Well, nearly all the boxes. Tall, dark, handsome. Tick. Great sense of humour. Tick. Hung like a donkey. Tick. Is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> name, name that makes me want to throw up in my mouth every time I say it. Tick. Nigel. <coughs> Ian. What name could be so let's, uh, grim let's guess. That, uh, yeah, that it makes you gag at the thought of saying it out loud? I hear you ask. Rick. Rick. <laughs> Standard not... name ever. Um, Nigel. Ian. Neil. Neil's a bit icky, you know. Gwyn. <laughs> Gwyn? Gwyn's not a name. It's Gwen is a girl's name. Gwyn. Yeah, Gwyn's a boy. Yeah, Gwyn. Gwyn's Gwyn. a Welsh um, name. Yeah. Let, uh, let, let's guess if the word, what do you think's the worst name? Boris? I know what name it is, but I, can't, I know what name's the worst name, but I can't say it because maybe it listens to this podcast. <laughs> I know. Wow, no way. Guys, what is it? Bertram. Bertram? Oh, Bertram, but he won't allow himself to be sure. Bertie? He won't let himself be shortened to Bertie. Bertie's lovely. He needs to be his full title, Bertram. Wow. I don't think that's the worst. Clive. Clive. Clive's a terrible name. <laughs> All right, do you want to hear what, what it is? Mm. Tarquin. <laughs> Tarky? She says Tarquin. Fucking Tarquin. <laughs> Can't you call him Big T? <laughs> I didn't even realise Tarquin was a real name until I met him. And now every time we're out and I have to call his name... Tarquin! I just... I just pitched my uh, the same uh, scenario as caught the dog Fenton that went viral right a few yeah. years ago. <laughs> Talk when! <laughs> Talk when! <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if I could shorten it or create a nickname out of it. But the actual fuck are you supposed to do with Talk <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, It's still only casual phases, so I have plenty of time to cut my losses and run. Uh, but I'm also concerned this will make me a shallow bitch. What a great email. Very funny. Big T. You can't dump someone because their name's Tarquin. Yeah, you can. You can? Yeah. Do you think? Well, you obviously wouldn't oh, tell no. them it was because of the name. But you'd say T, else. I wouldn't dump someone because of the name. No way. Because it's hilarious, isn't it? You just have to call him like... Big T. Tarky. Yeah, but you can't call someone Tarky. Big T when you're out on the bottle, like with your pants. You can't go, Big T, do you want a, do you want a cuppa? Do you want a Quinny. T. T. Quinny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, yeah, Quinn. Yeah, the Quinn of a... even Quinn. Worse. Quinn could be possibly worse than yeah, Tarquin. Oh, yeah, whatever well, you get called Quim. <laughs> Quinn, just call him Quim. No, the guy, the guy off um, <laughs> Homeland was called Quinn, wasn't he? Stop. A name is everything, isn't it? <laughs> it was so hard, like naming our boys because they're going to be like nine foot three. Mm. Tarquin's n notoriously like a very posh, posh, like, raw, raw, raw darling. I know exactly what they're talking about. The Fenton thing, though. Imagine being in a bar. Tarquin, Tarquin, Fenton. I, I don't think you I, can... She's just going to call him T. T. Big yeah, T. T. It's P. Yeah, but T. like you say, if, you, if you're at the bar or whatever... T. Do you want a drink? T, yeah. Mm. T. Yeah, but then, I mean, go go away from... I imagine him, he's, he's going to be he's gonna be posh, right? I don't know anyone called Tarquin who isn't posh. <laughs> so, imagine his mum would be... Big T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T lad, you saw me there. T Bo. <laughs> there he is, T Bo. <laughs> TQ. TQ. Go on, T. Tupac. Telly. <laughs> Call him Tupac. She could put like an accent on it. Dada Queen. Dada Queen. <laughs> Dada Queen. Dada Queen. Oh, Dada I don't know. I don't know. Listen, it, it, T. It, it's what it is. I call you P. Yeah, T. Just call him T. All right, let's call him T. Problem solved. Problem solved. Let's move on. Don't dump him for his name. I'm sure he's. If you like him, then, then don't. Name's nothing, really. I hate my name. I love your name. I hate it. Really nice. What would it be called? Um, Chantelle Alexis Candice. <laughs> have you heard that story? No. You know, Ab said at school she wanted to be... That was, <laughs> she, she said she wanted everyone to start calling her Princess Alexis Candice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know. That is... A... I'd like to be called Claudia. Claudia. It's my favourite names. Claude. What would I go for? No. No. 
But I think your name's your name, isn't it? You can't. Pedro I, is your alter ego. It works quite well Pedro. too. Yeah. Pedro's good. I like Pedro. All right. Well, I've called me Pedro from now on. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> All right. Lovely. Listen, I've got. Pedro, I call him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> don't I? Things are cut the skin off your feet. No, it's like know. Pedro, Ped, Pedag. Valentine's Day, I'm going to spoil you. Um, like I always do. My little princess. No, we should just do something nice and mm. chilled. Mm. Maybe we should go horse riding through the forest. I'm kind of done with horses, babe. I think I, I, last time one threw me off, I, I just thought never again. But I'll come watch you horse ride. And then we'll go for dinner or something. Mm. Um, but listen, you know, whatever you do on Valentine's Day, uh, do it safely, of course, and um, and enjoy. Uh, Earth and bomb beats blasted, guys. Please enjoy. And uh, if you've enjoyed everything you've seen today, um, you can subscribe and uh, follow us on our socials. And thank you, followers, for subscribing and listening to us because we love you. On this Valentine's Day, we love you. What is that? Bend that and straighten that. <laughs> <laughs> Class. Babe. <laughs>